Welcome back for another video. This one is probably one of the number one things that has changed my personal style super drastically for the better. The one thing that's given me major relief and so much confidence is letting go of trying to wear flattering garments. This means I've completely let go of trying to find things that accentuate my waist or show off my legs, try to make my hips look smaller, try to make my boobs look bigger, all these things that we try and do that are so nonsensical. Forgoing or worrying about that completely is such a relief. So rather than trying to find pieces that are flattering, I've switched that over for myself into finding pieces that feel good. And let me be honest, sometimes I'll look in the mirror wearing pieces that make me feel amazing. I will pass the mirror and think, whoa, you look kind of like a lump or you look very overwhelmed by your clothing. But the truth is, it doesn't really matter. I still feel so good. I kind of look and go, yeah, well, it's not about my body. It's not about having a perfect proportion. For me, it's about fashion and being in control of what I want to wear and portraying the message I want to portray. I want to feel confident, empowered, and bold. Every day that I need to put my mind to doing any kind of work, whether it's in my day job, my nine to five, or whether it's focusing on my side hustle, I want to feel creative, bold, empowered, all the above. What helps me do that is oversized, exaggerated shapes with clever design details. Things that allow me to live my life that are not too over the top, things that have a point of view, that have a shape to them, and that make me feel interesting and creative. I've got three outfits for you that illustrate my point. Starting with the first look, this is something that I would likely wear to the office. An oversized basic shirt. This could be any old long sleeve tee. But for me, this detail is everything. The design of it is just a little bit more sophisticated than wearing a more minimal and generic option. I also like a little half tuck, and in particular like a half tuck because of the detail in my jeans. These are a pair of denim jeans from Cos, and they've got that cool crossover in the front. They sit a little bit lower down, they're not in the waist, not too fitted, and really roomy on the leg. Basically, it feels like I'm wearing a pair of sweatpants, but I've got the structure of a pair of jeans, which is totally appropriate for my studio office environment. Footwear-wise, I've got these Jill Sander mules. I got them on like a super duper uber sale between you and me that actually fit a bit small but because they're a mule I just wear them under trousers and no one can tell. What I love about these is the actual square toe and the exaggerated shape of the heel. So this is also giving me that proportion that I like in my clothing but just in a shoe form. I've spoken to you about my three-piece uniform and I tend to stick to that 99% of the time. It really, really works. If I'm gonna go in for a blazer, I love the relaxed shoulder of this. It's oversized, but it doesn't feel crazy big. It's quite soft the way it drapes on the body. I think blazers or very large blazers like this are really a comfort blanket for me. They make me feel super confident, but it's also like wearing a little piece of armor that's kind of giving you a hug throughout the day. dressed up but also casual and practical. This you've seen before if you've watched my previous episodes. It's a linen shirt I made for myself. I am a designer and pattern cutter. I love that I can make for myself the things that I really can't find out there. I definitely put my exaggerated favorite details into the pieces that I do make for myself. I've made this one adjustable so it's got two sets of buttons down the front. That means if I'm feeling like I want to be super relaxed and slouchy I can just do the middle ones like that or if I want to be a little bit more tucked in I can 
cross it over and then that also creates a higher neckline. These trousers are a pair of tibby trousers and I just roll over the waistband. One thing to know is that sometimes I'm in a mood where I don't mind being all covered up and super slouchy, my sleeve long, my trousers long, I really can enjoy leaning into that. But other times I do need some relief and so I'm more inclined to wear my hair up off my neck not really down I feel like I need something showing to say that I'm still inside here you can also play with the clothes you can roll your trousers tuck them into your shoes or also just roll up your sleeves if ever I feel like I need some relief in the look just to like burst out a bit those are your options there just to make it not too overwhelming pairing this with this pair of sandals from the road second hand or vestia collective the point of being too covered up or wearing a lot of fabric and having things being super long doesn't really bother me at all the fabrics kind of move around the body and i just think there's so much more interest if i was to you know just wear this tank top on its own let's say so not with a shirt over the top i mean it's a look if you're into minimalism this could be a white t-shirt and it could be just a great plain simple look but for me personally i need that exaggerated detail why have bare skin when i can cover it with a fabulous sleeve something rather casual. I've got on some gigantic shoulder pads. I love tees with a shoulder pad in for the structure. If I've got a casual item on where I don't have a lot to rely on, I want to bang as much detail and volume into the minimal pieces that I'm wearing, thus the shoulder pads. Pairing it with my pair of linen shorts. I showed you these when I was out on my boat trip. I made them for my little holiday and they are just fantastic. I only wear shorts that I make for myself because I just can't find the silhouette that I like in in stores or anywhere online. I like an elasticated waist and I like a super roomy leg. Again, coming back to that oversized, exaggerated volume that I like in all my pieces. I also like to feel within my pieces that there's a point of view in them. With the wavy top, with the shoulder pad, with the shorts, I put a pleat in it, they're boxer style. Somebody's thought about it, in this case me, in other case other designers, and they have a point of view. They feel a little bit special and that ties into my own own creativity and just aligns my clothing with how I feel on the inside and what I want to say about who I am with what I wear. Another great way is through vintage blazers. I love a vintage blazer. I love this charity shop find. I wear it literally on the regular, at least once a week probably, and it pairs so well with neutral looks. I am really going there with the volume. I don't mind layering, having a double shoulder pad situation. I'm super into that. The wide leg, while casual, is really bringing a point of view and some real detail to what otherwise could be just a boring pair of shorts. Footwear wise, I have got these Dries Van Noten slides. Again, something exaggerated, a strange shape, this extra little welt bit here. They're not particularly flattering on my feet. They're a bit clunky to wear but that makes me feel like I've curated my wardrobe, that there's a point of view behind the pieces that I choose, wearing the things that make me feel the most bold and confident. And I'm fully aware that not everyone can wear or would feel their most comfortable in oversized clothes, so I'm not recommending this to anyone if it's not for you. I guess what I am saying is find the thing that makes you feel the most confident, but make sure that that thing is not necessarily about your body. I don't really have the language sometimes to get super deep or philosophical about this stuff. For me personally, let me just say that letting go of any kind of attachment of trying to make my body look a certain way, I allow the clothing I wear to almost in like a paper doll way, like placing, you know, paper dolls where you, as a child you would cut out the silhouette and like tab the clothes onto a little cardboard cutout. That's how I like to play with my clothes. I like to have them be their own proportion and not have my body come into play. We're all different shapes and sizes. So again, it's not for everybody and that's okay. 
I'm just trying to show you how this made me feel super confident about my style when I eliminated worrying about showing off my body or any parts of it that I thought should be seen or highlighted just because generic societal standards have always said that they should be. faces are going to age, our bodies are going to decline and although I'm still very young I am starting to think about that stuff more and kind of plan for the next phase of my life as I'm near my 40s. I just think that I'm going to have a better gauge on things and a better feeling for myself if I can feel in control of my style. Everything else I don't really have that much control over. I can do my best but no matter what happens I'm going to be able to dress well if I put the effort in. So that is how I freed myself from flattering. I no longer care if my garments show off my body and it's just been the best thing to lean into. Another part of that has been listening to style advice from professionals. I used to be a stylist and a designer and design collections and do fashion shows at South African Fashion Week and so I thought I had this nailed down that I didn't need these hot tips and tricks but with many a morning waking up and with a fabulous wardrobe still feeling like I had nothing to wear I decided to give it a try. Next week's video is going to be me trialing the number one advice that you hear from most stylists or fashion experts out there and I'm gonna tell you whether it worked for me or not. I mean, spoiler alert, it actually did. But still, tune in to see how I figured it out for myself. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you for that one soon.